the snail grind, I always kind of struggle to decide how much of this to use because <laughs> it's hard to kind of quantify how much to take out, but we'll do about that much for my face and neck. Hot Labo in the house. Now, I don't get any pilling when I put sunscreen on over this. I allow it to absorb and dry fully before coming in with the sunscreen. Pilling is basically when the sunscreen just kind of breaks apart and flakes off. It's really frustrating and when that happens, you know, it's not protecting you. I have a whole video on all the reasons why sunscreen might be pilling for you. So check that out. It's K-Beauty Advent Calendars time. Get excited, we've got days 12 through 18 times two to make it through this weekend. Check out the size on this. What, what could possibly be in here? I think this is the biggest drawer of the whole calendar. Ugh. Oh, now this is handy. Reusable cotton, cotton rounds from Purito. 10 pads in a mesh bag. Plastic free, unbleached, compostable, less waste, vegan. Handy dandy. Uh, let's check out the texture on them though. Ooh, they're really soft. All right, my apologies. Something bizarre happened with my camera and it corrupted that last clip. Uh, we got an eyeliner in day 12 of Stylevana and it's a gel eyeliner. I've never tried a gel eyeliner before. That is some precision right there. It's a brown color, Choco Brown. Lux Gel Eyeliner number three, Choco Brown. Okay, here we are, day 13 of Yes Style, and it looks like we've got a box of something something from Make Prem. Peel Me, Radiance Peeling Sleeping Pack. Eww. Micro Trans Moisture. An overnight gel mask gently resurfaces skin with exfoliating PHA. Now I really enjoy PHA, polyhydroxy acid. It does gently exfoliate as well as hydrate. This actually looks kind of promising aside from the fact that it has citrus fruit extract, which can be irritating. It has ceramide, lactobionic acid is a polyhydroxy acid. Hmm. Yeah, polyhydroxy acids, for those of you who have sensitive skin, they're um, a great way to approach gentle exfoliating because they're just that. They gently exfoliate, but they also help improve the moisture content of the skin. They're humectants. And ultimately, that's gonna help your skin exfoliate better. I'm actually kind of excited to try this. I did not have a good experience with the Make Prem sunscreens. Um, for me personally, they had a bunch of fragrance and overall, the formulas were kind of irritating and drying. For me, I know they've changed on them. Let's check out the texture on this. Ooh, you guys, that reminds me of a third grade craft project. Did anybody have to make a diorama in like third grade? Diorama, diorama. So we had to do one and it was supposed to depict some kind of animal habitat. And I thought I was so cool because I made a little lake and I used dippity do hair gel as the water. I thought it was so cool. Although transporting that to school was no easy task. The teacher was not as impressed as I thought she should be, uh, given the level, level of creativity that went into that. Okay, moving down to day 13 of Stylevana. What do we have here? A bigger drawer. Ooh, 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 something from Hamish. Oh, it's an eye cream. I do like their all clean cleansing balm, which if you missed my Walmart video, go check that out. But Hamish is now at Walmart. Their cleansing balm and their um, their face wash, both of which I really like. Marine Care Eye Cream. All this boxage for that small jar. I was thinking to myself, like, this seems like a pretty big, oh, I see, we've got a little. So there's a wand in there with a little applicator with a little cooling ball. Okay. I like, even though this is kind of excessive packaging, at least they did put some creativity in the design. This is all marine. Now, marine extracts algae. They're super hydrating and have uh, antioxidants in them. I'm kind of intrigued to try this. Please tell me it doesn't have fragrance. Oh, it does have fragrance. 
That is not good, especially in an eye cream. I don't know why they're doing that. Does it have marine extracts? It's got peptides. Yeah, it does have a lot of marine extracts, shea butter. Even if you're not sensitive to fragrance and it doesn't cause problems, you're not allergic to it. The delicate, the thin, thin skin of the eyelids, that's a place where you're definitely gonna develop an issue. Like why would you put fragrance in an eye cream? We don't need scented eyelids. Day 14, yes style. Little strawberry. Alarm clock. What is this? Ooh, it's sparkly. Oh, it's a lip balm. Lip balm. A lip balm. Sha la 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 snowball lip balm. Sha la 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 la. Wait for today. Sha la 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 la. Wait to for day. Don't you? La na 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 na. Wait for today. I don't know the words to that song. I just enjoy it. Uh, okay, but if you know the words to the song, feel free to sing them in the comments. This packaging, I'm sorry, this is cool. You bust this out in class and everybody's gonna be, oh my gosh, this, this I'm excited about. I don't care what the product is. Look at this, it's like a, oh my God. Oh my goodness, that is so fun. All right. So it's a, just a clear colorless lip balm. Oh man, I just wanna sit here and play with this. It's so cute. What do we have down here for day 14? Is it, oh man, one of these tough drawers. <laughs> this is a product I actually, enjoy. well, have I tried this? I've tried some of the products in this line. Elsa Becca's Serre 100. I've done their shampoo, their conditioner, and they have a hair mask that is quite good. What is this? After shampooing, dry off with towel and apply to hold damaged parts of your hair. Also, it is good to spread it to dry hair as daily care without the need to be rinsed out. So this looks like the kind of thing that's gonna leave your hair glossy, shiny, manageable. Yeah, I'm glad I have a hair care product just to kind of change things up a bit. Let me know if you've tried this brand. I, I reviewed a few of their hair care products was it last year and I really enjoyed them, but I haven't used them since last year. So I'm excited to give this a gozy. All right, back to Yes Style, day 15. Ugh, something in a box. But, oh, we got something from Haru Haru. Their Wonder, Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Facial Oil. Now I don't use facial oils, oils, they're emollients, they can smooth and soften, make things look glowy, but they're not really as all encompassing of a moisturizer. Like they're not always the best at like reducing water loss from the skin uh, as a moisturizer. And most moisturizers have some kind of emollient in them anyway. Just rice bran oil. Seems relatively innocuous. You know what these are good for? If you have flaky skin. If your skin is flaking, peeling, desquamating, rather than exfoliating it, because that is exfoli- it, it, when the skin is flaky and peely, it's exfoliating. Like, you don't need to exfoliate exfoliating. It just it causes a lot of irritation. But it's annoying to have those flakes. It's like your products don't go on right. So get a little drop of, oil, like, a facial oil and massage it in just a gentle circular fashion. Don't go scrubbing and rubbing. Just gentle circle, soft circles. It'll help dislodge those shedding cornea sites and at the same time deposit some softening emollient effect behind on the skin as opposed to drying it out. And this looks like it would be a good option because it's just rice bran oil. All right, cool. Rice bran oil is frequently in like moisturizers and stuff, so you don't necessarily need this. This is not something you need in your life, but it would be useful if you have a lot of flakes. All right, come back tomorrow, you guys, for more K-Beauty Advent unboxing fun. We'll get down to Stylevana 15 and we'll complete all the way through 18 tomorrow. So good stuff. I'm most excited about that lip gloss. It's popping. It's I'm here in H-E-B and they have this bakery butter tortilla scented candle. Uh, sounds weird, but it smells amazing. $12, it's not too bad. Look how cute these coffee tumblers are they have. They have one with a candle, then they have a biggie one. And they have a little medium sized sipper. Christmas lights ones are cute. Merry Bright, and then I love this one. They also have one with festive cacti. 
Uh, cute little snowman mugs. Ah, looks like Hill Country Essentials has a generic, this is like the HEB store brand for T-Gel shampoo, which is uh, coal tar shampoo. It's really good for flaky uh, scalp dandruff. It's also good for uh, scalp itch. It's anti-inflammatory. It just has an odd odor to it. But if you can get over that, it's very soothing. It's kind of like ichthamol. Remember when I reviewed that for you guys? That salve that smells really weird, and dark brown and oily. They also have a dupe for Selsun Blue. This is selenium sulfide. It's good for dandruff. This is Selsun Blue Naturals. This is a salicylic acid shampoo, another good dandruff ingredient. This is good too if you have an oily scalp. 748. Whoa, check out this brush. It comes with a case. That's kind of handy for packing purposes. The, bris the bristles always get squished in like your suitcase and stuff. That's why um, if you've watched any of my travel vlogs, I have a separate like toiletry bag just for my hair brushes to keep them from getting all squished. Sounds excessive, but it makes a difference because you don't want your brush floating around in your suitcase. Check out these eyebrow razors, crescent shaped. This look handy, Diosa. They also have this looks like it'd be handy for between the brows. I like this one with the comb. Oh look, looks like Aquaphor got on the hand therapy mask trend. I like these, but if you've watched my hand eczema video, I talk about how to do moisturizing gloves. Just get the cotton gloves and put Aquaphor on and then put the cotton gloves on. Same thing, but you can reuse it. You can wash the gloves. But these are great, you know, for travel purposes. Check out this new sunscreen with hyaluronic acid and collagen, Hydrate SPF 50. It is a chemical sunscreen, water resistant, Hy hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid and hydrolyzed collagen. Those are humectants, they help with um, hydration, keep the top layer of the skin moisturized. I wonder if they have this as a um, like cream. I'm not seeing it here. Because y'all know from my videos, the thing about the sprays is they are, they're not so reliable. Like you have to do multiple passes and rub it in. They're prone to skip areas. Check this out. HEB has a shimmer SPF 50 oxybenzone free. Oxybenzone is a chemical filter that can be kind of irritating. It has iron oxides. It does have fragrance. This looks like an HEB store dupe for Copper Tone has this like shimmery sunscreen. Kind of looks like that. What's the HEB for men SPF 50? This one they say is scented. It's probably another chemical sunscreen. Yeah. These are a really good value though. Like, or seem to be $10. White Gardenia. Burt's Bees Calming Serum Sensitive Solution. $17.98? What? This is new in their sensitive solutions line. Safflower seed oil and a hoba seed oil emollients. This seems way overpriced for what it is. This is an anti-redness serum. Calming day lotion with aloe and rice. But there is there any sun? Here's one with a sunscreen in it. Mineral sunscreen. Squalane jojoba seed oil. Thirteen dollars. Seems okay.
It's the holiday season. Loop de loop. Hey guys, I just got out of the shower. I'm all moisturized, hydrated. I got you guys on your new ring light stand and thingamajig. I can't really see the viewfinder properly, so if I'm out of frame, just imagine me with my aquas hair turban on. Anyway, weren't those lights festive? Uh, I, I don't know. It feels like they didn't go as all out this year as they do in other years, but I didn't go to like the big neighborhood. There's one neighborhood that I was able to go to like the first year I lived here. It's called River Oaks. It's where like the lifestyles of the rich and famous types live. I mean, not just rich people, like, like rich, 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 rich people who have like, bazillionaires live there and they all go all out for their Christmas lights. It's beautiful, but it gets so uh, crowded. It's very difficult to go through there. Um, you can actually um, do a bus tour of that area. I should do that again sometime. Anyway, I didn't go over there and there's some other areas where they have more involved light displays. I just kind of buzzed around um, an area where I know they have lights. Anyway, that was fun. Speaking of light displays though, comment below on if you live in New York, because I know I have a New York audience. You need to go to Diker Lights. It is so fun. That was one of my favorite holiday treats to do when I lived in New York. Uh, go, it's like a, a neighborhood where they go all out for the lights. And I actually did the bus, the bus tour, because um, I lived, they took you to the area on a bus. It was quite comfortable and then they let you out to walk around and see everything. It was well worth the money. I think I got like a Groupon or something. Yeah, Diker Lights, not sponsored, but it was so worth it. As a matter of fact though, if you don't have, if, you're, if you don't live in New York or you don't want to go do it, I think on YouTube you can actually, somebody actually filmed it one year and they have it up on YouTube. Diker Lights, D-Y-K-E-R. Oh, so much fun. I love looking at over the top Christmas displays. It's so fun. Like those houses, um, they have some, in, like, I feel like a lot of places have this, a house will go so all out where they'll have this mega light display and it'll be coordinated to music on a radio station. Comment below on if you have a person like that in your, in your town or city where you live, where everybody goes and looks. Um, I always enjoyed that. Um, that was always like a holiday tradition that we did growing up, going to see that kind of light display. There, there's always there's always a family that does that or a person maybe when I get in like my 80s and 90s I'll be that person all right so tonight skincare wise I came in with my made love fadeaway serum and I have also been using as my nighttime moisturizer the Pyong Kung Yul intensive repair cream this is one of my Korean skincare favorites I like really slurpy skincare textures I love snail I love like juicy gel patches, but uh, the Pyong Kung Yule Moisture Ampule, it's like the consistency of corn syrup or of honey, really thick, really viscous, but super hydrating. I need to use that again. That product was, I haven't used it in a, in a couple of years. I've been doing the Extra Barrier Extreme Lip Repair at night. I like this, but I don't think I would go out of my way to purchase it. It's pretty good though as a lip balm. One friendly reminder about skin is that if you're patient, a lot of skin issues, not all of them, but many of them, and hair issues will actually resolve on their own without any intervention um, other than patience, which actually is, <laughs> is a huge intervention on your part. But uh, if you are dealing with some skin issue, see a dermatologist, see your primary care doctor, figure out what it is, but just know that there are a lot of skin problems that do go away without any treatment. Warts, molluscum, alopecia areata can, sometimes it doesn't, um, but it can, it commonly goes away on its own. Um, even melasma can actually fade away on its own, especially, namely in cases where it's triggered by pregnancy, it can fade gradually with good sun protection after the baby has been delivered, or melasma due to a medication like um, hormonal therapies, birth control pills, If you once you stop that particular birth control, it can fade and go away. Things that don't get better on their own though, skin tags, they don't go away on their own. Seborrheic keratoses, they'll flake off, but they come right back usually. Um, 
cherry angiomas, little red bumps due to a little clustering of dilated blood vessels under the skin. I'm covered in them. You just can't really see them because they're teeny, teeny, tiny. I have, I have, I have tons of them, like tons of them. You just can't see because they are like the size of a pinprick. But they're completely, they're completely not dangerous or harmful. If you have one and you're bothered by the appearance of it, dermatologists can take care of it with a simple, quite literally. But it doesn't stop you from getting more of them. Just know that. Um, but yeah, those kind of things, they don't spontaneously go away on their own, unfortunately. But a lot of things definitely can self-resolve, improve. Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Kind of rambly here at the end. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.